March 09. I go to the doctor every 28 days. In March 09, I had lost 23 pounds. I changed my diet, I didn't change my exercise, I didn't do anything. The next month I lost 18 pounds. The next month 21 pounds. The next month 19 pounds. I kept telling my doctor I'm sick. I had beautiful nails. I used to go with my sister-in-law to get manicures. And the girls were so jealous because my nails were so up and rounded. And I tell my doctor that they're getting flat. And you can see here that they're growing into my skin. See? And what I have to do is I have to cut straight down and rip them. Okay, here's one. It's growing into my skin. Chinese torture. Okay, why is my nail wider than my... Look at that. How wide that nail is. What's all, what's all that about? Huh. Well, this is one of the symptoms I was telling I, I don't know what it is. I, someone had told me... Someone had... Who works for the state office that once a month they have a research team that comes in and the guys were bored and this was a friend who kind of cared about me and the guys were up there just BSing and he said well I got this friend and she's got all these symptoms she's losing weight like mad her hair's falling out she's got lesions like big holes that never go away they get worse and worse. Um, her nails are growing wider and wider. Um, it's I can't wear the same clothes twice. My clothes get very pinchy. They hurt. These things are not just located to where you can see. They're like parts that I'm not going to show you. Um, so anyway, these told these three guys and the guys all went downstairs half hour later. They come up with three different papers and they all say Morgellons. Supposedly it's man-made 1958 was bioterrorism then what I read, there's a lot of loony people out there. Um, one thing I did read that I do believe, I think I should sure get one out, um, is that when they, they were growing all the coca, coca plants for cocaine in Colombia, the government sprayed paraquat. And this was, they were already producing GMO and GMO insects and stuff. And they sprayed this stuff with some GMO. I'm sorry, they're going into my face and they hurt. And subsequently, the people couldn't make money anymore. So they started growing cotton <clears throat> on this soil that's now infiltrated with this GMO paraquat. And who buys the cotton? China. The back on any label. Where is that? Well, this one probably isn't cotton. But cotton made in China. Made in China. You go to Walmart, everything 100% cotton. Organic cotton. Made in China. I walk by and these little just fuzzballs will all cling to me. I don't even can't go near clothes. So did some research and it's a lot like candida where you gotta cleanse your system. I've been cleansing. I still can't stop sugar, but 
I try. I'm using stevia now. It's helping a little bit. I found that peroxide immobilizes them. Vinegar kind of kills them. Um, my cat has it. She lays down. I listen to her cry in her sleep. I watch her skin crawl. And if I touch her, she freaks. I don't know what to say. I, I want to know. I want to see, like, because when I wash now, little tiny bubbles all come out. I want to see if you wash and if all little tiny bubbles are in the water because I've never told nobody I've never asked nobody to see the difference a lot of them for some reason they like my tattoo and I hate doing it but I can find a wet one and I can see it's just a little white tiny thing underneath. And if I make just a little pinch, like a, there's one right there. I make just like a little blowhole. Enough for an air hole for it. And squeeze it. I could get one of those little white things out. Without ruining my ink. Which they've eaten so much of. See, it's, it's a little white thing in there. It's, it's real. They're miniature. They're like a millimeter and a half, too. See, there, it's under my skin. It went sideways. But you can see the line that it's a definitive little cylindrical thing. I'm not going to dig it out because I don't want to mutilate myself, but there's a little piece of it anyway. It's a teeny tiny little white thing. And sometimes you'll pick up something off the ground, it'll be white, you put it here, it'll be black. They hurt so bad, they're like fire in my skin. And all my skin, any, whatever skin I cut, it all looks the same. There's, see there, see that little white thing in there? I'm gonna, you gotta get up, see the little white thing. I'm gonna get the skin out around it. Ah. They're like hot shards. There it is, see it? Ah, I gotta look because I don't lose it. can't even touch things. So much pain. And I don't know where it went because I'm just, because the bathroom is so toxic right now because I took the curtains down and this hurts so bad. I've got cat litter going into my feet. As you see a piece of cat litter come out. I ain't digging that far. It just hurts. I'm in too much pain. See the little black spots? Just like the little black spots on the walls. They're not topically. They're in there. There's a big one. Unless I just picked that one up. Another one. There, I gotta clean the floors. I gotta clean the whole house. I gotta go do laundry. This is my whole life. Is cleaning and cleaning and cleaning, just so I don't get hurt so bad. I can't face people. I have no social life. If nothing, I'm embarrassed to go out in public.
I'm going to show you how the skin comes out and goes back in. It's hard to see here. I'm in a lot of pain right now. I can hear them when they're there. They click. There's one. You can hear it. Uh, uh, I have friends stay over. I've had friends sit here with me for months and look at things under microscopes. Talk to uh, this lady that um, I found a, a non-maniacal website. Um, was Morgellons focus on health and now they've changed the name to something else. <gasps> and um, th these are deep ones. These because my vacuum hasn't been working and I sleep where the main room is and the carpet hasn't been cleaned well. So needless to say it's <gasps> It's too hard skin. It's callous for me getting it out the other night. Um, I got one out and here's a little parts of one. I would go to the doctor during 09. One of the symptoms I also had and this is like there are 30 symptoms on the list. I had 27 of them. And I would get this white spot right here on both feet, one or the other, sometimes both. The skin would die, and then this whole ball of skin would come off in one piece. I have a digital micrometer. It would be about an eighth of an inch thick with bloody roots. My doctor just threw it away and said it's normal. Eventually in December after I'm telling him I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick, I got pneumonia, something's going on, I got other things. I went to him, I had 103.7 temperature. He sends me for a lung cat scan. See what I just pulled out over there went into over here. And now my head, there, I can feel him digging back in. I had 103.7 temperature. He sends me for a lung cat scan. Two days later, I'm in with pulmonologist having a my lungs scraped and brushed and flushed. Had 19 infections. I had E. coli in my lungs. I had Klebsiella MRSA, Klebsiella. I had pneumonia. I had staph. I had strep. I have all the paperwork, I have all the the CDs, I have everything, I have copies of everything. My white blood cell count is through the roof, has not gone down, I continually run a fever, I get so exhausted from cleaning <clears throat> and laundering that I sleep then for two, three days. And then it starts all over again. And within two weeks it's laundry day again because I've used everything up. So yay. <clears throat> I have to wrap all my food up in plastic bags and peanut butter has to have foil and then plastic. They get in there. They're in the toothpaste. but. Yeah, how much can I do? This hurts so bad. I want that out. Uh, I it would I just have to dig too far. It's all dead skin because I pulled the two of them out the other night. I have. Let me see if I can find a hair here that want to dig into the porcelain. There's.